everyone. So today I'm going to tell us about the Renart Brut Champagne that we serve by the glass. A little bit of history. Uh, the Renart House of Champagne is the, one of the oldest established champagne houses in the Champagne region in Reims, established in 1729 by Nicholas Renart. It is currently owned by Moet Hennessy and Louis Vuitton. Uh, it is a non-vintage brut, meaning that only a vintage Champagne is uh, using all the grapes that are produced in that one year. Non-vintage means that it's a conglomeration of grapes brewed from, sort of grown in different years. And brut means that it is less than 12.8 grams of sh residual sugars, uh, resulting in a much drier champagne. Um, this champagne is also aged for one and a half years before being released and undergoes full malolactic fermentation. So under second fermentation and method de champenoise, it is aged on the lease, which results in that toasty, yeasty Chardonnay quality that we're accustomed to. Um, it is a traditional Chardonnay blend, uh, so sorry, champagne blend, so Chardonnay, Pinot Meunier, and Pinot Noir are the three dominant grapes. Um, the color of it is vibrant and clear yellow um, with golden reflections um, with uh, effervescent bubbles um, that are pretty standard. Um, the nose of it is delicate with fresh and fruity notes. Um, you get white fleshed uh, fruit notes, so pear and apricot and nectarines. Um, there's a slight nuttiness and aroma to it as well, so almonds and hazelnuts are pretty dominant. Um, the malolactic fermentation, as mentioned before, produces a rounder Chardonnay quality that we're used to, um, which gives it sort of a brioche toasty, buttery note, uh, which is very characteristic of the expression of Chardonnay. Um, it's a very easy drinking champagne, um, used often for an aperitif, so good with shellfish, um, such as the dressed crab, uh, but because it does have a rounder quality to it, can be eaten with uh, fuller fish as well, such as our Dover Sole.